Hi there, Sharon, Be Divine Vintage. Wow, have I been learning new techniques this weekend. Easy ones, easy peasy ones, that you can probably all do with your eyes closed, but to me, wow. So the other day I was showing this journal, and um, it's part of a bigger project, and on it here is this little bird's skull. And somebody said to me, asked me, was it a real skull? To which the answer was absolutely not. I don't like. I don't and would never collect um, bird bird bits unless they are feathers. So what I did, I've got some moulds, and I use this casting resin to. Uh, oh, it looks like it might be leaking in there. I use casting resin and moulds that have got some bird skulls. So that's what I did. And um, here are some, some of the, the moulds. There's the little birds one. And I just got them off um, eBay. Um, so what have I been doing? I'm gonna show you how I did the skull, how I made it look real. There we are, that's what it looks like when it's just been made. But I've been busy making all these. Yes, I did my shrinked inks. I've been busy making these bits and pieces to go onto dangles for my Halloween chat, my Halloween journal. These are not all going on one, one dangle. Here is the dangle I made, but I'm not 100% happy with it. I want more of like these sort of things on it so I'm going to be making I set myself a challenge to make the journal jewellery uh, inspired by Robin Dudley House so I'm making journal jewellery he's a little pussycat and then I am going to make myself a new dangle and I'm going to put some in my shop as well so I did say I was going to show you how I made this type but I'm not today. Today I'm going to show you how I made the how I made the bird's head look more real than the white one. Uh, so I've just done a little bone as well. That looks good. So as you can see, you might have picked up that I've got a new toy. My new toy has allowed me to drill these holes. You know all these, these are Tim Holtz bits and bobs. I've drilled these holes so that I can hang these things onto my journals. So I decided to make the bird's head into a dangle as well. But what I needed to put all these little circles in, I hope I'm explaining myself properly. I know exactly what I mean. Is a drill. Yes, I'm now the proud owner of a drill. Da -da. It's a little drill I got off um, Amazon. Varial speed rotary detailed carver. I think it cost me about nine pounds. It came with my drill bits. It came with um, all these little, these, loads of them. I don't know what they're called, but loads of those. Came with these to put my drill bits in. Came with instructions. And uh, here I am. I thought, wow, I did a year of engineering at school. There was only one of two girls in the whole school. And I thought, there we go did come in useful after all. So I've got my mould that I took, my little casting, and I am going to drill a hole. I know I should have all do it with my pliers really. How very naughty. I should have held it with my pliers so as not to go through my fingers. So I actually should have held it like that. 
how very, very naughty and then drilled it like that. So that's what you must do. Don't follow my bad instruction. It's because I'm so excited. And then get your little eyelet or whatever they're called and just screw it in. Obviously make sure you use the right size drill bit. And that just screws in. And then what I do is I get some clear gesso because got some Liquitex clear gesso. The reason I like this is because it dries clear and it dries sort of uh, my screen, like there's a bit of tooth about it. So it dries a little bit rough. Which is what I like. It makes these old bones feel a little bit more real and I just paint it over that is literally all I do clear gesso and from being a smooth piece it turns into a can you hear it a rougher piece yay then I get my distress oxide I've got vintage photo here and I literally, there's the one that's drying, here's, oh let's do the bird's head. Now if I have anything like that on, so the gesso's just block the eye, so I just undo the eye. I don't want the eyes filled in. So I literally just brush over it. The actual um, oxide just sticks, sort of highlights the main places. Get into those eyes. Turn it over. And voila, we have a, what is it, casted, casted resin bird skull. That now looks a little bit more real, don't you think? Let's do the top as well. Love that. Let's see if I can find a mold. I should have got them all out. Oh, the mold is not just jumping straight out into my hands since I've uh, moved craft rooms. I can't remember where I put my moulds. So um, just have a look, spooky moulds, Halloween moulds, animal, bird, animal, bird, bird, born moulds. You'll find them on Amazon, Sheen, uh, eBay, wherever. Let's have a look at what happens to little fingers. Ooh, look at them. <laughs> They're funny, aren't they? I just think they look better coloured in because unless your bones have been bleached, nobody's bones really look like that, do they? Make sure to go like in between fingers and things. I hope everyone's keeping well. I had a lovely night out last night with Hubby. We went for an Indian meal and the restaurant was packed. So the service was really slow. And normally like we chunner, chunner away a bit if we have slow service. But um, it was nice last night because it just gave us just, just being with each other, you know, just that time. 
just to be with each other and talk and we'd ask my son to go with us but he said he didn't want a third wheel I said do you mean gooseberry he says what does gooseberry mean so I said it probably means the same as third wheel Oh, I do love these. There's my little hand. Right, it's another little, I think it's a femur. Or it could be a tibia or a fibula. That's another. So this, I was only supposed to be doing these dangly journaly jewelry bits the other weekend but I'm enjoying doing them so much and I've got so many ideas spinning around in my head that I think I'm going to be uh, doing them for a bit longer it's not quite is it dry yeah dry enough put it on that one I remember the first time I saw a skeleton when I was a little girl. Oh, it was at a child miners. I think we were all like the only people ever. And our school to have a child mind. Probably the first people in the world to have a child mind who picked us up from school. And because my dad was working away a lot. And I don't know why. But the lady had this skeleton. I think her son was training to be a doctor or something. Absolutely frightened me to death. Those good, don't they? Oh, I don't normally seal them in with anything. Once they're dry, they don't need sealing in. That's those. That's the bird's head. Another bone. Please with those. Let's just zoom you in. Oh, that's zooming you in. Zoom in. So me in my night dress. There they are. It does look good. I think it looks fab. Yes, I'm still in my night dress. I'm having a very lazy day. So I will add these to the all the other things. I love this box of goodies. That. I love that um, shrinky bean. Anyway, right back to the bats. So the bats I did with the clear gesso. So the bats are rough, feel rough. So here I have got, she says, my black gesso. And now I'm just going to paint the bird, the bats black. Let's get the gesso. So I paint them with the clear gesso first, just for that um, extra medium for the black to grip onto. I love clear gesso. It's good. It's a good primer for a lot of things. Good base. I love gesso. So that's the fronts done. Things are stuck together. And I will paint the backs later when the fronts are dried. Need some new brushes, mine are getting all getting a little bit, you know, gunky and I think I've cleaned them that many times. If you use that much IP, it'd probably just be cheaper to buy new brushes. Look at this one again. Put that in the water. Oh no, I'll use it again in a minute. So there you go. 
So, a little quick lesson on how to make your casting resin uh, bones look more real. So, I'm Sharon, this is Be Divine Vintage, and thank you for watching. Bye bye.